While Channing Tatum is perhaps best known for his role in the sultry Vegas blockbuster Magic Mike, the star has some other talents that led him to hate Marvel movies. So what exactly happened? And what else is going on in the Marvel Universe? Keep watching to find out. 41-year-old actor and producer Channing Tatum has a prolific career and is well known for his ability to draw audiences to the box office. However, when the star decided to try his hand at directing, he may have aimed a little too high for his directorial debut and his producing partner wrote an incredibly ambitious script for Gambit, one of the characters in Marvel's X-Men. While the script was a hit, when Channing pitched the film to execs at 20th Century Fox, he was devastated to discover that while they loved the story, they didn't love the idea of Channing directing it. The studio played on for a little while, even allowing Channing and his team to go through with casting for the film, opening a production office, and nearly beginning to film in New Orleans before ultimately canceling the film. The actor said he was traumatized by this turn of events and believes it was because Disney, who had recently merged with Fox, wanted to take the X-Men in a completely new direction. Because of this mishap, the actor was left unable to enjoy any of the other Marvel movies that he had previously been so absorbed by, saying he completely shut off his Marvel machine. The actor became so attached to the character of Gambit during the writing process that he just can't imagine anybody else making the movie. But even though he can't bear to watch Marvel movies at the moment, the actor says there are no hard feelings between him and Marvel Studio execs. The Magic Mike star admits that if he is approached to play the role of Gambit with someone else directing, he would still happily jump at the opportunity. And what is Channing's favorite part about the character of Gambit? Surprisingly, it's Gambit's sense of fashion. The star explained that while other superheroes have more functional utilitarian outfits, Gambit's look like he came off of a Paris runway at Fashion Week. Then, Marvel's next star is Mother Righteous, but is she a hero or a villain? The mysterious and powerful Mother Righteous is the newest addition to the Marvel Comics universe, but she's not exactly a hero or a villain? Mother Righteous reigns over the astral plane, offering magic in exchange for future favors. But what kind of favors will Mother Righteous be calling in, and what are her goals? We'll find out when she makes her debut at the end of April with Legion of X, when she strikes a deal with Legion to finally get out of the shadow of Professor X. Next up, why is Netflix removing all Marvel shows? The streaming giant is removing Marvel shows from the platform, including Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Daredevil, but something is strange about the way Netflix is notifying viewers. While some Netflix subscribers get a notification about the show's departure on the top left of the page when they start to watch, others get no notification at all. It seems like Netflix may be fighting to keep their piece of the Marvel Universe, otherwise they would make a bigger announcement. So will these shows be moving to Disney Plus? Well, while Disney Plus has pulled some of the elements of the Netflix shows over, like Vincent de Onofrio's Kingpin character who appeared on Daredevil and then moved to Disney's Hawkeye, it's up in the air of whether or not they will fully absorb the Netflix shows. It's possible that they could remain in the Disney vault while they are still under legal obligation with Netflix, depending on the deal. So how long do you have to catch these Marvel masterpieces on Netflix? The streaming platform will remove the shows starting March 1st. Any excuse for a Marvel binge is good enough for us. And in other news, why did Zoe Saldana get in trouble with Marvel? While filming for Guardians of the Galaxy 3, the actress, known for her role as Gamora, took to Instagram to share how she was spending her downtime on her long days on set. Fans were thoroughly enjoying the stars behind the scene updates, but she might have shared a little too much with her audience. Marvel executives called on the star to delete a video post where the actress was in bright green makeup, reading from a binder of scripts in between takes. The studio's issue with the video was that the text in the binder could have been visible for ambitious fans who might zoom in and leak important details from the film. The actress said it was only minutes after she uploaded the post that she received the scolding call, so the studio must be closely monitoring her, knowing how active she is in social media. Saldana cooperated with the studio and deleted the post at first, later re-uploading it with the binder edited to cover some of the words. She then tried to further distract from her slip up by instructing her Instagram followers to instead focus on the tea that she was drinking, a common South American brew called mate. It looks like she's taking a page from Tom Holland's book, who is famous for leaking information about the Spider-Man films, 
Jones nearly every time he talks to the press. Marvel has their work cut out for them and will likely be monitoring all the stars' Instagram pages from now on. Next up, which Star Wars actor will be joining the Marvel Comics universe? Oscar-nominated Star Wars alumni Adam Driver is rumored to follow in the footsteps of other big stars, such as Kate Blanchett and Chris Hemsworth to join the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in what is said to be a pivotal role for the franchise. This doesn't come as much of a surprise when you consider some of his previous roles. The actor seems cut out for the high-energy action series that Marvel is known for producing. While Marvel execs are keeping their plans for Driver tightly under wraps, as far as what role he might take on, a lot of behind-the-scenes sources are convinced that the actor will join the universe as Doctor Doom, which makes perfect sense, as he has already brushed up on his villain skills with his portrayal of Kylo Ren in Star Wars. Adam Driver also starred in the HBO series Girls and was recently featured in House of Gucci. The star's addition to the Marvel Comics universe would certainly be a newsworthy item, and we can't wait for the official announcement from MCU. And an MCU exec reveals why Marvel really brought back Kingpin. Wilson Fisk, also known as Kingpin, was portrayed by actor Vincent D'Onofrio in the Daredevil series, and the rumor that he would be brought back in some capacity in Hawkeye was one of the fans' most awaited reveals. Kingpin, of course, finally appeared at the end of the fifth episode of Hawkeye as the villainous boss behind the tracksuit mafia. But why did Marvel really decide to bring back this character? While you might be thinking this was the work of the writers and directors of the show, it was actually Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige who decided that it was an integral plot point for the show. The show's creators had already decided what they needed for the show was the ultimate threat, something that would really provoke a weak spot in heroine Eleanor's bravery. Since the show's storyline was already built around a mysterious New York City crime boss, it made perfect sense to bring Kingpin in for that role. Kingpin is the first character of the Marvel Universe who comes to mind when you think of the powerful but sketchy underworld of New York City. Who else could possibly be pulling the strings? This is exactly what Kevin Feige thought when he decided he wanted this character to be a part of the story. However, the Marvel exec wasn't always confident that Vincent D'Onofrio would agree to appear on Hawkeye. Since the actor had previously portrayed the role of Kingpin on Daredevil, which was a Netflix show, Marvel had to make sure they could use the character without causing any legal issues that would affect the show or the actor's career. Luckily, Vincent D'Onofrio was on board and was able to make it work into his schedule. Although he couldn't appear for fittings for his famous white suit until the very last minute, wardrobe stylists for the show had to virtually work with him as he was filming in LA while Hawkeye was in production. This likely isn't the last time we will see the larger-than-life villain. Deono Frio has talked about his desire to bring Kingpin into the upcoming Spider-Man movies, as well as other Marvel shows on Disney+. This is Deono Frio's favorite character, and he really wants to bring as much to the Marvel comic universe as possible. And with the Marvel Studios president behind him, we'll likely see a lot more from him in the future. So there you have it. That's everything we know about why Channing Tatum hates Marvel movies, and all of the other up-to-date Marvel comics universe news. Do you want to see Channing as Gambit? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.